I just wanted to do a video on just just, just the messed up theology of Ed Fendinger, just proving, I mean, there's no Holy Spirit in this guy. I mean, the Holy Spirit is not going to lead you into just the weird heresies that he's about to say in this clip I'm going to play. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But let's check this out. He says, what he basically says is that uh, salvation was, there's a different imputation of salvation in Romans 4 than in James chapter 2. And, he, and he's basically refuting, trying to refute my video. I did proving dispensational salvation. And it's just the mess up the I mean, because they have to just twist the scriptures to, to prove what they're saying. Because the Holy Spirit's not leading them into all truth. So they have, you have to have to come up with these, these interpretations and have to just twist what it's saying to make it all fit in somehow. So, I mean, check this out. That's why you have James, uh, you have um, Romans 4 talking about one type of imputation of righteousness, and another righteousness is righteous being spoken of in James 2. These guys cannot rightly divide. So he says that there's one righteousness being imputed in Romans 4, and he's implying that there's another righteousness being imputed in James chapter 2. Uh, it doesn't say that anywhere in the text. Let me show you. Because uh, again, he doesn't believe in dispensational salvation. He thinks the whole Bible preaches the same gospel. So he has to find a way to try to explain away James chapter 2, which clearly teaches that there's a, a faith plus work system in the time of Jacob's trouble. Let me read that. James chapter 2, verse 24. You see then that how by or you see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Verse 25. Likewise was uh, also was sorry. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works? justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out the other way. Verse 26 For as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead also. It clearly teaches a faith plus work system. It is not faith alone. But Fendinger has to somehow explain that away and have somehow just twist the scriptures to make it say, oh it's still faith alone. So he says that in Romans 4 there is a different righteousness being imputed than James chapter 2. Uh, where does James 2 anywhere say about righteousness being imputed to you. It says you're justified by works. Justified. You know, you know, it's not talking about physical salvation. It's talking about you being justified. Romans chapter 4 talks about how your how righteousness is imputed unto you. Um, if you read Romans 4, it clearly talks about that. Where does it talk about that in James chapter 2? It's not. Let me show you the verse in Romans 4. Uh, verse 21 uh, and being fully persuaded that uh, what he had promised, he was able to, or he was also able to, or he was able also to perform. Sorry, I'm not good at reading stuff on a computer. Uh, verse 22. Therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. Verse 23. Uh, now, it was not written for his sake that it was imputed to him. Verse 24. But for us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him that raised Jesus up from our, our, our Jesus our Lord up from the dead. Verse 25, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. So again, righteousness is imputed unto you when you believe in Jesus. This is in the Pauline epistles. Where is that in the book of James? Because the book of James is written to the twelve tribes. Let me read you James chapter 1, verse number 1. James, the servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Uh, it's preaching a different gospel. It's not to the Christians. Romans chapter, the book, the Pauline epistles is to the Gentiles. Let me show you some proof on that. Romans chapter 11, verse, 20, uh, verse 13. Uh, this is Paul speaking. For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. Paul is sent to the Gentiles. He is the apostle to the Gentiles. James was sent to the twelve tribes of Israel. So, how is their righteousness being imputed to you in James? It's not. It's teaching a faith plus work system. There are elements of works that will be required in the time of Jacob's trouble. So again, just the messed up theology of Fenninger. I mean, it's ridiculous. He he just has to do has to do these mental acrobatics to explain away verses that prove dispensational salvation. So anyway, uh, don't be deceived by this this uh, this hyper dispensationalist. You know, his, he, him saying that Romans ten is not even part of the gospel or whatever. It's ridiculous. Don't be deceived by this. God bless you. Goodbye.